I'm here with Indiana Fever forward Tamika Catchings, and you've had a couple of days to soak in that Game 3 win, and I'm sure there was a lot of things racing through your mind. Just what does it mean to, I guess, put that behind you and now focus on uh, getting what has eluded you for a long time, and that's a title? Yeah, you know, I think uh, for our team, you know, just really excited about having this opportunity and, and making it to the finals. And, you know, I, we don't want to stop here, though. I mean, obviously, second time around, back in 2009, it was like that was that moment. It was like, okay, we're happy to be here. And, you know, took it all the way to game five. And you know, I think this in this situation, going against Minnesota Lynx, obviously defending champion, you know, um, for us, I mean, we're going to have to come in. We're going to have to stay focused and, and uh, stick to our game plan. What was, is different between 2009 and now? Obviously, the opponent is different. It was Phoenix three years ago. It's Minnesota this time around. But just the, the path to get there, what, kind of highs, lows, differences? It's well, I think the highs and lows. But I think, you know, the, the biggest difference that I see from, from this year's team is just, you know, having our back against the wall in both series, one first against Atlanta, then against Connecticut, and, and being able to come out and, and finish it off and win two games in a row, both series. You know, I think when you look at our team and just being there, you know, I, I look at us it's like the, in a fight, you know, and being a person to just keep getting hit but never fall down. And I, I feel like from a mental aspect, that's what we have with our team. And what did your Game 3 performance say for folks who might think with Douglas Hurt that this is going to be a uh, walk in the park for Minnesota and Indiana just kept on the accelerator against Connecticut? Well, I mean, when one person goes down on any team, especially one thing that we've talked about through our highs and lows through this season is when one person goes down, we all have to step up. And I felt like our bench came in, you know, the players that played, everybody stepped up their game and everybody was ready to play. And, you know, I think for, for me personally, it's, it's exciting to, to look around and to see players playing as well as they have. And, you know, especially players that maybe haven't played as many minutes as, you know, as they wanted to or that they, you know, could have, should have throughout the season. But just to see them out there, you know, playing hard, doing what they do, and, you know, that's the reason why we have our team. That's the reason why each player is on this team. Now, how do you think the post game has developed? That's been one of the big uh, keys in this playoffs for Indiana. And, of course, that was the thing everyone had questions about. You going to power forward, who was going to handle the five spot. And, uh, you know, you've done well. And Elena Larkins has stepped up. And even Jessica Davenport put in some uh, big uh, plays in games two and three of the Connecticut series. Yeah, definitely. You know, I, I, like I said, I mean, I feel like every single person on this team is on our team for a reason. And, you know, Tammy Sutton Brown early on and even throughout just her leadership, you know, from a post situation and whether she plays or not, you know, just her being able to talk to, to the younger players out there and kind of give them feedback on what they're doing. And then, you know, even Sasha Goodlett, who really you haven't seen that much this year, our rookie, but, you know, she, she comes in and she didn't impact players as well so when you look at our you know just the post game overall you know I'm confident that we have you know one of the best post games in, in the league and that you know, people step up to the occasion and on on that note too kind of what are you looking forward to um out of this series you know are we going to see more of the post players and what challenges does Minnesota bring and uh, I guess what excitements loom ahead for the fever yeah well I think you know when you look at Minnesota I mean defending champ so you know their game you know they're going to come out you know they've been in a situation before last year and even you know throughout the playoffs they've had their ups and downs as well um, you know I think for us you know the good thing is that we just played them right before the regular season ended you know back to back at home and then coming out here and playing them so you know we're pretty familiar from both sides with each other's team and with uh you know with each other's strategy so you know I feel like it's going to be a exciting series you know no doubt um no telling what you're going to see from both teams I know our coaching staff has has watched a lot of video on them in the last couple of days and and getting them prepare, uh, preparing uh, preparing this team for this uh for the end of our journey you know and so it's going to be fun speaking of the journey I just talked about how you stayed fresh loose because after you beat Connecticut you flew right over here to Minnesota didn't even stop at uh, your home base so how do you keep things going when uh, you're going on the road, uh, kind of like those long road trips in the regular season. Yeah, I thought it was a great idea, you know, coming out here, coming straight here, because think about it, we would have flown back to Indy yesterday, slept in our bed for one night and flown to Minnesota today. So, you know, just making that direct transition straight from Connecticut straight here and having a chance to get off of our feet. We did that going back to Connecticut. The first time we went to Connecticut, we flew the day before the game and ended up being in the airport for over eight hours, you know, with all the travel delays and all that. So, you know, the organization, the coaches, they felt like it was a better move to get a smarter move to get here early and get off of our feet.
You've touched on this a bit, but talk about Indiana's resolve this postseason. They're 4-0 in elimination games. As you said, backs against the wall in both series. What is it about this team that they're able to adjust and go from you know, looking out the door to uh, moving on up the ladder? Well, you know, I, I go back to that mental, you know, just the mental aspect of our team and just it's, we're strong, you know. It's kind of like after we lost that first one, we came back to Indy, um, and it was kind of like, okay, backs against the wall again. We were in that situation against Atlanta, so we kind of knew what it, what it took. And, yeah, I feel like the focus, I mean, our level of focus definitely went up a notch. And, you know, everybody bought into the system. We got back in the gym, and it's kind of fun because it wasn't like anybody was tight. It was more like people were more loose. Um, and, and really everybody was just more focused. No current Eastern Conference team has yet to win a WNBA title. How do you uh, change that and reward that statistic uh, by the end of this finals? I mean, I think this is going to be a great series. And, you know, I think uh, we're, we're definitely going to go out and we're going to try to win. And, you know, I feel like we have the players on this team that can win. Um, you know, but it's not going to come easy. Both teams really feel the same way. So we'll go out, we'll play hard, uh, we'll get our game plan together and, and get on the court tomorrow. I guess overall, how would you sum up this season? I know there's a few more games to be played, but, you know, Olympic gold, you come back and you show, kind of show that same commitment, that dedication from the Olympic team here with the Fever. Blessed. You know, definitely blessed uh, to be in a situation and to have all the accomplishments that we had this year. But, you know, I give all the praise to him. And uh, I know you're probably thinking of him, but is there anyone else you want to say hi to that might be watching this? Uh <laughs> Well, you know, my family, my family is always watching games. So, you know, hi to my family, hi to everybody, all my fans, um, you know, yeah, everybody. Well, thanks for speaking with us and uh, good luck in the finals. Thank you.